Uh, welcome back to our channel. So for this episode of our um, senior share, we're going to talk about uh, the biggest difference between college and high school. Mm -hmm. And for all three of us, we went to the same high school and college as well. So um, John, why don't you start us off with some, um, some of the differences you found? Okay, so I'd say the biggest difference is the t tests are a lot more important in college yeah. than in high school. Um, of course, different for every high school and college, but for us, we went to a high school in Washington State, and we went, we're went we at University of Washington, mm -hmm. yeah. and tests are very heavily emphasized at the UW. Every single yeah. class, for me personally, I'm in the business school, and tests, like a midterm makes up like 30% of the grade, mm -hmm. and then the final makes up 40%. Yeah. Um, it's just like your entire grade is based off of two, three, or maybe four tests throughout that quarter, um, as opposed to high school where tests were kind of like uh, the same weight as maybe assignments, you know, like uh, at the end of the uh, term. That's yeah. the case for most classes, I would say, not just the business school. Mm -hmm. So just in general, a lot of your, you can expect a lot of your classes to tests will be weighted a lot, a lot more. The assignments are more like participation almost. It's like making sure that you're uh, learning things throughout the quarter and then the mm -hmm. tests are like where it all comes down. Mm -hmm. Well, that that's know? different depending on classes. Yeah. Assignments can be, but yeah, tests definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Also... This one's a kind of a pro. It, an amount of freedom and customizable time. So a lot more freedom in college. Customizable. It's, yeah, you can customize yeah. your schedule. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. pretty nice. Um, yeah, high school. Wake up. What like six thirty? Get to school. Oh, yeah. Seven twenty. Yeah. Yeah. No. Eat lunch at a specific time. Mm. Get out of school. Go do sports. Come back home. You're literally doing the same thing exact same exact thing every yeah. single day. Not the case in college. Not for. Uh, our experience um yeah uh, for me personally i just like i go to class and then anything else besides class is just up to my discretion yeah <laughs> sometimes i'll study between classes sometimes i'll i don't know go go to the av and get some food the av is the av is like the the street yeah. at, at uw where there's a bunch of restaurants yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. um yeah you can literally do whatever you want to be honest that's why a lot of kids uh and like freshman fall quarter a lot of kids might do bad in classes just because they're not forced to study no one's going to yeah. tell you to study yeah your professor doesn't care if you're doing your homework yeah no one's yeah. holding your hand anymore exactly so like there's so much free time but there's a caveat to that you need to make sure you organize your schedule very well um another thing i don't know if, if you guys are going to agree with me on this but waking up for an 8 30 class yeah. is <laughs> no, pretty much happen. impossible <laughs> it is. isn't it like <laughs> We used to, and, and this is coming from people, we used to wake up at 5.30 yeah. to go to, period. yeah, because we were in IB yeah. classes, so there was a class we had to wake up super early for. Yeah, it yeah. started at 6.20. Yeah. yeah, and we just, like, that was just our lives, and it was, it made sense back then, but yeah. now, getting up for an 8.30, like, I can't do it. I yeah. physically, like, cannot wake up <laughs> yeah, at, no. before 8. You sometimes. need a nap after, like, <laughs> an hour class. Like, if I wake up at 8... And my class is at 8.30. I'll be like, dude, I overslept. I, I can't, like, exactly. you know, I can't get up and <laughs> just walk to class happen. now. That's not happening. Yeah, I don't know why, but, like, every quarter of my freshman year, I used to have an 8.30. And I don't know why I did that to myself. But ever since then, I have not had an 8.30. Mm -hmm. And and you can and, choose that, right? Which yeah. is weird. Yeah, and, and some people choose 8.30. So those are just morning people, I guess. Yeah. Or I just meant, like, you can choose your schedule in general. It's not another mm -hmm. one of the freedoms. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. choose your schedule. That is yeah. very nice. Uh, with that, you can have the option to choose your professors. Mm -hmm. You can you can see what professors teach what class, and then um, we I use rate my professor. Uh, a lot of people say that's not accurate, but for me it was pretty accurate. At this it's point. uh it's not yeah it's it's not bad. Yeah, there's also course evaluations for your school as well. A lot of things, uh, a lot of resources like that. You're gonna yeah. want to research your professor heavily because for me, professors matter a lot for classes. They either make or break your grade. Mm -hmm. um, Literally, a bad professor can can give you a two zero, and a good professor could have given you a four zero in that exact same class. Like it, it is like literally such a huge deal. Yeah. Um. Also, in college, you actually have to retain <laughs> knowledge from your classes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna just do the take classes and then, and then forget about everything, right? You yeah. actually have to like memorize what you're learning because you will learn you will need it in the future yeah like your classes will build on top of each other so yeah don't I mean that's the case in in high school no but like uh, honestly like no one like okay for us like we didn't do like for example history no one's gonna give a fuck about like yeah like, history can, like Canada and yeah. stuff like that water, like, I mean a lot of classes don't like, unless it's math yeah like okay. what really builds like whatever you're trying yeah. to like okay you got me <laughs> you got me like 
if you do not learn something in a class, if you just kind of take it and kind of let it blow past, you are you will be screwed. <laughs> you will be so okay, far yeah. left behind. Especially classes that are taught in sequences. Yeah, yeah, not not every class, but just generally, kind of, you should try to actually yeah. learn what you're doing. Uh, especially mm-hmm. if you're going into like a field like CS. Yeah, that's or true. Or accounting, where you literally have to know these things. Yeah, the prerequisites mean a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, once you take harder classes, they're gonna assume you already know yeah. these things. Right. Yeah. And I feel like since you're actually paying for these classes, yeah. like you should actually care a little bit more than your free education from high school. I agree um, with that. But what about you, Fidel? Yeah. Um. Kind of. Kind of similar to what John said. It's just like the drastic change in, like how responsible you are for yourself all of a sudden. Because in high school, like. So someone will tell you if you like forgot to put your name on a piece of paper, but like that that piece of paper is gone in college. Like, <laughs> it's not like no, your your TA or like the person who's teaching those smaller classes is not gonna go out of their way to try and help you. Um, people are just kind of doing their job, and no one's other than your friends. No one's it's like no one's responsibility no. to care about you no except for yourself, you. mm-hmm. um, which is can be weird for people to realize and. Um, I don't know. Like I, I met people in my classes who have kids, and uh, <laughs> this is true. Uh, like during office hours, like someone was like, "Hey, can you hold my spot? I have to go call mm-hmm. my kid who's mm-hmm. in school." And I was like, "Damn, yeah. there's people who have like people are adults out here." It's crazy. Um, yeah. So college students, they have responsibilities outside of school, mm-hmm. for sure. And then the other thing, kind of, kind of like class structure, like John said with the tests, is just the class size can be so different depending on which college you go to. So I know a lot of colleges are pretty similar to high schools. They have like pretty small class sizes, but I know at the UW, we have classes that are like a thousand kids. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Some of the intro classes, which can be crazy for people. I've never met a lot of my professors in person. I've never had to talk to them. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people like that. Uh, yeah. They like like the anonymous part of <laughs> like yeah. you feel so in- insignificant it's yeah, yeah you, you don't have you don't no one's holding you accountable like if yeah. you miss class no one's gonna notice that you weren't there oh yeah it's yeah. just it can it's a big change you yeah. know that's no like one's... different though to yeah. like based on like what college you go to because we go to a yeah. public university opposed to like yeah smaller private ones but freshman year you're gonna have yeah. a lot of like in general freshman year bigger classes Mm-hmm. Uh, as I mean, and then once you're like taking higher level classes, then it'll become smaller. Yeah, my yeah. smallest class freshman fall quarter, the first quarter at UW was 250 kids. Yeah, in Kane. Or... And uh, no, it was in a smaller building. But yeah, yeah Kane is like our our in main general. building, and if you have a class in there, it's at least like 250 people. Yeah, it seats up to like 600. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Yeah, you can literally sleep in there, and yeah. <laughs> you <teacher> will, <laughs> will not notice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's um, kids like uh, smoking their vapes. Yeah, in, in class. Right? In class. Yeah. <laughs> and no one cares. No, I saw someone steal a chair from like those yeah. like bolted down like seats. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things happen. <laughs> That's how many people are in here. Yeah.